Cancer, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Cancer. So, I've been meditating on it. And what kept coming up was, I've got a feeling. That was it. I've got a feeling. So maybe you got a feeling about something. It's all about trusting your gut after all, isn't it? I think that feeling that you've got. I'm all about trusting my gut here. I think that feeling that you've got, I go with it. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only get a legitimate private reading from me if you come directly to my website. There's no other way of getting one. I'm never going to come to you. I'm never going to send you a message that somebody trying to scam you, my loves. You have to come to me. Right, Cancer. I got a feeling. Let's take a look at this feeling for you, Cancer. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know that feeling you've got? I think this is going to be a pretty short reading. If you're thinking this is not the person for me, you are very correct in thinking so. If you're thinking I need to end this now, well, yeah, I would say now's a pretty good time to end it. It's time to start a new cycle here. It's, uh, I don't know. I'm not actually seeing any pleasant cards until we get to the end. Where you make a decision and you free yourself from this and then you're happy. That's basically what I'm getting at here. We'll take a look at this person, but from what I can see, all you're going to get from this is heartbreak. You've got a feeling that this is not your person. Something's tingling inside you saying, oh, I need to, I need to leave this relationship. You're, you're definitely on the right path thinking that. Why is the eight of wands in reverse here for what you need to know right now? Who betrayed the heck out of you, this person? Or they are. If you've got a feeling... I'm getting a few cross stories. Some of these... Some, for some of you, it's somebody who you get a feeling they're cheating. Yes, they are. And... Yeah, yeah. This is coming up. You... Yeah, it's... it's it, other stories that are coming in are sort of this just maybe you started dating somebody and you got a feeling they weren't the right person for you. You've seen a few red flags. Pay attention. Those red flags are waving around. I would say back off from it. But the bigger story I'm getting is that this person, you have a feeling they're being unfaithful. You're kind of trying to keep the balance and keep them happy, but... It's almost like they want to get found out at this point. Tell me more. They're, they're essentially ready to move on. They're getting bored of the relationship that they're having with you. And they're, they're like, it looks like they're kind of getting ready to move on. So well, this what's coming up in the near future? Seven of Swords. Somebody has been getting away with it. While trying to build a relationship with you, it sort of looks like you've been kind of trying to keep the peace, kind of tr trying to keep a harmonious connection between you. And, you know, it's while you've kind of been trying to build that, that's where they've been 
in the background doing the nasty. You've been working on it. They've been working overtime elsewhere. Trust your gut, Cancer. Trust it. Honestly, it's not going to lie to you at this point. So I'm just moving. I've got lots of decks out at the moment. I'm just moving some space. So, you in the near future, you're just going to be heartbroken by this. Tell me more. Yeah. All the things that you uh, are afraid of are about to be revealed. And it's, you're just going to pull back and distance yourself from this person. Them. <sighs> They've got the Eight of Swords, so they're like, My hands are tied. This is who I am. They've done this to themselves, you know. They made their bed, they're going to have to lie in it. cheated they did you wrong or they lied it's their fault sometimes there's a radio see sort of like kind of really little details are just like you sort of think it's kind of little does it matter? Do I need to tell them? <laughs> it sort of looks like it's just a little detail. Like as you split up with this person, it looks like you're going to probably have goodbye sex or something like that. It's just, I, I can see it. Just let me know in the comments below because, you know, <laughs> I, I don't get much uh, in the way of titillation, I'm afraid. Um, I managed to have a relationship that lasted a week and, <laughs> and then we've already split up. <laughs> so yeah, I don't get much action here. Uh, yeah, I was dating someone last week. It got, it got nice. We were talking, we liked each other a lot and now we're not talking anymore. It sort of looks like for you, you're Gonna have one last little go around as you end the relationship. Goodbye, goodbye. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Bravo. Yes, bravo. So your outcome here is that, you know, you leave this behind and you're moving on into the next chapter of your life. So we can stop there and we can talk about now the extended. I'm going to ask how this person really truly feels about you. We are in their heart space. What do they want to say to you? What are their intentions towards you and some guidance from the universe? It's over. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to watch it. I kind of think it's pointless myself. <laughs> I mean, you can, but uh, it's done. Let's see if there's anything else in the outcome. It, yeah, it just sort of looks like yeah, it was, <sighs> trust your gut, it was what it was, it didn't work out, this person betrayed you or cheated on you or whatever the heck they did, they treated you badly, that's for sure, it's time to move on, and it's the next chapter of your life after this, basically. I'm having a bit of a crazy hair day. Your commitment is being tested. So yeah, so what do you really want? You want, want like to meet your soulmate, twin flame, whatever, and be happy for the rest of your life? Probably not gonna do that if you meet your twin flame, but that's another story. So your commitment is being tested. If you're gonna stay in relationships with people where you have a gut feeling that they're not the right person, then that's the test, isn't it? And the universe is going, all right, you're not ready. 
I'm not ready, we're not gonna give you the big, the goodies. The real goody goodies. We're gonna keep that until you've learnt your lesson. So, your gut's telling you something, pay attention. It's a little message from the universe. And once in a moment, it all comes to you. As soon as you get it, you want something new. It's all I can do to keep waiting for you. By the cars. All I can do by the cars. Beautiful song. And uh, yeah, that's that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch Extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thank you. Goodbye.